Air Combat Evolution, ACE, a new Ukrainian company has released a promotional video of its conceptual drone called ACE-1, in which it is shown shooting what appears to be the Russian Orion drone and T-90 tank. ACE-1 is claimed to deliver a combination of high-speed and low visibility, along with artificial intelligence, AI, swarming solution and the capability to deliver a mix of missiles, and guided bombs from its two internal weapon bays. It can also function as a loyal wingman fly alongside a crewed fighter aircraft in combat. A mock-up of the drone was released at the Arms and Security 2021 exhibition which began today in Kiev, Ukraine. The ACE team is headed by Alexander Loss, former Director General of Antonov, and Volodymyr Yusuf, former head of the State Space Agency of Ukraine. Partners in the project are Ukrainian firms Motorsich, FedJSC, Hydrobest, Yuzhmash and French engine manufacturer, Safran. The ACE-1 will be capable of carrying weapons weighing up to one ton in internal compartments. It will be powered by two engines, the AI-322F turbojet made by Motorsich and Ivchenko Progress. It will have a thrust of 2,500 kgf and a dry weight of 560 kgs. The drone will have a length 8 meters, width of 11 meters and a maximum takeoff weight 7.5 tons. It will develop a maximum speed of Mach 0.95. According to the calculations of Ukrainian designers, the Strike UAV will have a combat radius of 1,500 km and a service ceiling of 13.5 km. The drone will compete with the likes of the Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel and the Russian S-70 Hunter. The preliminary cost of one complete system comprising several aircraft, probably three, and a ground control station is $12 minus 13 million, a press release during the Arms and Security 2021 exhibition said. The ACE-1 looks to not only outfly and outgun the best drones in the world, but also undercut them on price by a fair margin. A team of 25 engineers is working on the development of the drone in Ukraine. The project is being carried out in cooperation with Ukrainian enterprises. So, ACE-1 will use the engine from the SE Ivchenko Progress and Motorsich with Gidrabest LLC overseeing the airframe production. The legal entity behind the startup, Air Combat Evolution Limited, is incorporated in the UK. Its ultimate beneficiaries are the founder of Gyrobest, Volodymyr Tit, also the executive director of ACE, and Andre Semikin, owner and director of the Odessa real estate developer Gefest. According to the U-Control analytical system, each of them owns 30% of the shares. Tit and Semikin raised investments at this stage of the project, the company's press service said. In Ukraine, the operational activity is carried out by Air Combat Evolution LLC, 100% owned by a British legal entity. Since the project is located in Ukraine but created as an international one, investments will be raised in the international market. We are counting on India, Israel, North America, and Europe, said Alexander Loss. I think that we will raise funds by September, Volodymyr Yusuf, who holds the position of product vice president at ACE, told AIM. Ua. According to him, the funding will allow the completion of the design documentation and ground tests of the main critical components within a year. The first flight tests are planned to be carried out in 2023. For comparison the Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel and the Russian S-70 Hunter. The RQ-170 Sentinel is a high-altitude and long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, designed and manufactured by Skunk Works, a division of Lockheed Martin Corporation, for the United States Air Force USAF. Flying at an altitude of 50,000 feet, the RQ-170 can offer its operators with real-time intelligence data by executing surveillance and reconnaissance operations over a large area. The tailless flying wing design of the RQ-170 looks similar to the RQ-3 Darkstar and P-175 Polcat. The 27.43 meters wide and 1.82 meters high aerial vehicle was designed to execute intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance and target acquisition, ISTAR, and electronic warfare missions over a target area. About 90% of the aircraft is made up of composite materials to decrease its overall weight. The development of the RQ-170 was started by Skunk Works to meet the stealth UAV demands of the USAF.
The RQ-R stands for Reconnaissance Designation indicates that the aircraft is unarmed. The Sentinel features bat-shaped wings, blended fuselage, pointed nose and tricycle-type landing gear. An electro-optic camera was incorporated beneath the front fuselage section to seize the real-time imagery or videos of the battlefield it is surveying. A direction satellite communication antenna enables communication between the vehicle and control station. Sensors, radars and engines of Skunk Works RQ-170 Sentinel electro-optic and infrared sensors are incorporated in the upper surface of the RQ-170 wings. The RQ-170 Sentinel is fitted with an active electronically scanned array radar, synthetic aperture radar and signal intelligence in its belly pharynx. The RQ-170 is powered by a single General Electric TF-34 turbofan engine which produces 9,275 pounds of thrust. It generates high thrust to weight ratio, consumes less fuel and minimizes operational cost. Suhoi S-70 Okhotnik B, Hunter. The S-70 Okhotnik B, Hunter, is a stealth-capable combat drone being developed by Suhoi Design Bureau and Russian aircraft corporation MiG. The drone made its first flight in August 2019. The unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, is expected to be delivered to the Russian armed forces in 2024. Anticipated to serve as a loyal wingman, the stealthy drone incorporates a flying wing design, while its composite fuselage is covered with the radar-absorbing paint. It is designed to offer a lower radar cross-section. Powered by an AL-31 turbojet engine, the UCAV can be installed with electro-optical targeting, communication, and reconnaissance payloads. With the maximum takeoff weight of 20T, the Okhotnik B combat drone is significantly bigger than its western counterparts such as Dassault Neuron and Northrop Grumman X-47V. The length and wingspan of the Hunter UCAV are 14 meters and 20 meters, respectively. The attack drone features two internal weapon bays to accommodate up to 2,000 kilograms of guided and unguided munitions, including air-to-surface missiles and bombs. It is expected to fly at a speed of 1,000 km per hour and attain a maximum range of 6,000 km.